Good evening. Good evening. Well, I just finished a leadership conference today. I was one of the keynote speakers and it was absolutely phenomenal. The title of the conference was Fierce Leadership. And one thing that the world is lacking today is leadership. And so we have part three tomorrow. It started on Friday. We went all day today. Phenomenal speakers, phenomenal topics. And yours truly, I got a chance to share on build your online community and master your online brand. And so I am very, 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 very happy to have served today as one of the speakers on Pastor Victoria's Burst Leader Camp 2020. And so I thought I would just take a few minutes to come here tonight to say hello, to bless you, to, to just check in with you and see if you have any questions, any challenges, you know, because leaders serve. That's what I do. I'm called, I'm mandated, I'm appointed, and I'm anointed to serve the people of God. And so I also want to share with you about an upcoming opportunity called the Diamond Heart Kingdom Mentorship. It's my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program and it's currently in place. I am now actually engaged with several mentees around their personal uh, agenda, their personal challenges to get them from point A to point B so that they begin to blaze trails and create generational blessings and legacies for the next generation. And so I want to talk a little bit about that tonight to tell you about the program, because this is a very unique program. It's one of a kind. I'm actually working with you for six months on a one-on-one -on -one weekly mentoring session for about 30, 45 minutes a week. And there's no predisposed agenda. We are meeting around your issues, around your questions, around your challenges, around your projects, around whatever you need to have coaching and mentoring around. Does that make sense? So it's all about you in this Diamond Heart Kingdom mentorship. We're meeting breast to breast, heart to heart, and we're talking real issues and, and presenting you with real opportunities, real solution to real problems because the pandemic has not been easy on any of us and it's not letting up. The numbers are increasing. So we're going to be in this mode, in this mindset for a period of time. And so many of us have had to shift. We've had to pivot to really get in position, to get our bearings together and to reposition ourselves to do life in a new norm. Yes, we've had to pivot. We've had to make changes. We've had to adjust. We've had to be flexible. We've been in shutdown and lockdown and economic turndown. But God is still God. God still sits on the throne and he's still in charge and he still holds your universe in the palm of his hand. So God has not forgotten you. God knows all about this pandemic, he knows about your needs. And so he's there for you. He's there with you. And sometimes you just have to fall on your knees and cry out to him. You know, when you find that you've lost your way and you don't know how to make ends meet and you know, and you know, you're living from paycheck to paycheck. And maybe perhaps you don't even have a paycheck, but at the end of the day, God is still God and he's a loving God. He's a caring God. He is a God that will provide. He'll make a way out of no way. Just about two weeks ago, I was looking, going online, checking my financial um, records, and there was an unexpected deposit in my account. And my eyes went blink, blink, like, um, did I see that right? Okay, let me look again. You know, I'm kind of like rubbing my eyes a little bit because it was late at night. I had just finished doing my work for the evening. And I said, let me check in and make sure everything is adding up and balancing out. And we don't have anything, you know, bouncing around. You know what I mean? And there, my eyes did not deceive me. There was an unexpected deposit in my checking account. How many people know that was God? Nobody can do that but God. Because people who owe you, <laughs> don't make deposits in your account. You know what I'm talking about. You know, I got to keep it real. Okay. I got to be transparent with you. 
And so I thank God today for the supernatural provision because that's what God is doing. And when you make God a priority, you become a priority on his list. And so I want to connect with women who are in transition from, from good to greater, from less to more, from lack to abundance. I want to work with women who are open to change and open to transformation, women who want to change the game, women who are ready to live their best lives and don't allow the pandemic to dictate to them what they can do, what they cannot do, and not allow the pandemic to cause them to lack or to suffer because God knew the pandemic was, pandemic was coming even before we knew it, even before we were told. Because nothing takes God by surprise. He knows the end from the beginning. So I'm looking for women who want to create generational blessings and legacies to establish, come on now, to establish generational blessing. Because it's really a not, it's really not about you. It is about the next generation. And so when you can position yourself and, and, and in the case of the pandemic, reposition yourself, pivot, change, make adjustment, you know, get the coaching you need, get the mentoring you need so that you can just shift. Come on, because shift happens. And we're in a shifting season. We're in a transitional season leading to transformation for the greater. Catch that last part for the greater. God has greater for you. God has more for you. God has abundance for you. God has prosperity for you. He is not a God of lack. He is not a stingy God. He has more than enough because he owns everything. And so it's a matter of you taking your mindset and making those subtle shifts, you know, and getting diamond clear about your purpose, about what you've called to to do, you know, what is the purpose of the anointing on your life? You know, how do you take what God has given you? How do you take the little and make a lot out of it and make more out of it and make enough for you and yours and some more? Come on now, for you and yours and some more. Because I serve a greater God, and He's the same God that deposit a surprise, unexpected deposit in my checking account. He's the same God that did that for me that will do that for you. But it requires faith. Somebody say faith. It requires faith for you to move from one place to the next place, even though you can't see it. Because we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. So I need some believers tonight who want to trust God for the greater and trust God for more. There is so much in store for you in this Diamond Heart Kingdom Mentorship Program. Number one, I'm going to work with you on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be live on Zoom for one-on-one. -on -one. This is not a group coaching program. And there's nothing wrong, wrong with group coaching programs because I have one of the best called my Game Changer Life Coaching Program. But this one was born out of my passion to do more. It was born out of my, my, my passion to create more. It was born out of my zeal to serve God on a greater level and to have greater impact and greater results. And so if you're ready to be more visible, if you're ready to, to own your voice and own your story, then one of the benefits of the Diamond Heart Kingdom Mentorship is that you get a chance to be a co-author in my new book project entitled Digging Diamonds, Revealing the Brilliance of Your Purpose. And so not only will you get the one-on-one -on -one mentoring and coaching on a weekly basis, video, uh, Zoom chats and session, but you also get an opportunity to become a best selling an Amazon bestseller author as a part of this program. And so not only will I be your kingdom mentor, your game changer, life coaching uh, coach, but also your book coach. How about that? We get a chance to map out your story, you know, in as a chapter included in digging 
for diamonds. And so we have writing labs. The next one is coming up on October the 27th. So it's not too late to enroll, but I need you to take action now because this is a 2020 program. We're going to become a best-selling author in the year of 2020, not 2021, but in this year, because what the devil meant for good, we plan on turning it around and making it work together for our good. What the devil meant for harm, excuse me, what the devil meant for harm, we plan on turning it around and making it turn out for your good. Okay. So I don't care what you've been through in the first quarter and no matter what kind of storm you went through in the second quarter, no, no matter what type of flood, rain you went through in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, you about to become a best-selling author. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you take 2020 and still make it your winning year in the fourth quarter. See, it's not over until God says it's over. It's not over until we cross over to 2021. Until December 31st, 12 midnight, 12.01, I might say, a.m., then 2020 is over. OK, but for those of you that that believe like I do and know that there's a spiritual clock that supersedes the natural Western calendar, we already into our new season. Come on now. We already into our new season. And so here we are in the in the fourth quarter of 2020, about to make a bestseller on Amazon. So take the link that I posted here on this broadcast. And I'm going to repost it at the end and click it and read all the phenomenal details about the mentorship, about becoming a best-selling author in my cold uh, author book anthology entitled Digging Diamond. And then the third benefit is that you get to be featured as a guest on my Kingdom Trailblazer podcast. We're launching a new podcast in the month of November. And so you get a chance to shine like a diamond on my Kingdom Trailblazer podcast. And it's not over. I got more for you. In addition to becoming a co-author in Digging for Diamond, being featured as a guest on our brand new podcast, Kingdom Trailblazers, you also have the blessed opportunity to be featured as an expert on my very first online summit. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have a virtual summit featuring experts that are part of my exclusive Diamond Heart Kingdom mentorship program. This is not going to be open to everyone. It's only going to be open to a selective few. Okay, so all of this is designed to give you more visibility because with visibility becomes ownership, ownership, ownership of your voice, ownership of your story. And then when you tell your story, God gets the glory. And so it's going to expand your territory, enlarge your capacity to do more, to serve more, to be more, to bless more. But it all starts with being visible. And that's the essence of my Diamond Heart Kingdom mentorship, to position you to be seen by more, to be heard by more, to be appreciated by more. The more you do, the more you give, the more that God is going to bless you and honor you. And so it's about visibility. It's about being seen. It's about being heard. It's about owning your voice, owning your story, being authentic, being transparent so that other people can get to know you, like you, and trust you. So the Diamond Heart Kingdom Mentorship, the doors are going to be closing soon. If you have any questions, please post them. We've been talking about this for a while now. We have many women that have already signed up. But I thought, you know, you know how the adrenaline flows after you finish a project that you've worked on and you prepare for. And so I thought I would come on live and just kind of give you uh, in a nutshell what this unique opportunity is all about. And so if you want to connect with me, because we make diamonds that shine we will help you to turn your ashes into beauty. Yes, Lord, we've all been through a storm. And you know what? I've been in the eye of a storm and I know what it is to go through and to come out on the other side victoriously. I know what it takes. And so I'm going to be sharing with you on a one-on-one, -on -one, heart to heart, breast to breast. You know, it's going to be personal. It's going to be all about 
you. How about that? It's all about you. It's not about me. It's not about the kids. It's not about the spouses. It's not about, you know, the next door neighbor. It's all about you. I'm investing my life to help you to live your best life. And I'm excited about it. This is a vision from God that we are executing for the very first time in the year of 2020 during a time of, of tumultuous change and challenge and confusion and chaos. But that's how the world was started. That's how it all started until God spoke to it and, and said, let there be light. And there was light. So I say to you tonight, let there be light and let that light shine. Arise in the fullness of your potential. Go higher in your anointing. Stand and own your voice. Be true to you. Be kind to you. Invest in you. Love you. And when you love you, you're in a better position to love God. And so when you love God and love you, you're in better position to love mankind and to serve it better. What the world needs now is love. I know that was a hit song some years ago, but it still holds true today. What the world needs now is love. And so when you flow in your anointing, when you flow in your power, in your grace. When you flow in your gifts and your talents, you are flowing in love because God has deposited those things, those virtues in you as a seed. And so when you begin to nurture it, when you begin to water it, when you begin to take time for you and believe in you and invest in you, you know, then you begin to see the results and you begin to shine in your brilliance. So this one-on-one -on -one mentorship will help to bring you to another level. It will help to reveal the purpose of your brilliance. It's going to get you to the next place so that you can rise and shine and be strong and give God all the glory. Are you ready for a change? Are you ready to change from the inside out? Are you ready to be a best-selling author? Are you ready to shine in your brilliance? Are you ready to be more than you thought 2020 could ever, ever be for you? If yes, then the time is now. Click the link. Let's connect. Let's make it happen. God bless you and know that I love you. Shalom.